Alright, hello everyone, Luke for Smith here. It is Tuesday the 22nd of September. Um, today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a review on AVG Internet Security 2020 version. Uh, let me just pop this down here like that. You can't see because I've got this in um, windowed mode. Usually you cannot view um, this this program in full screen but I managed to get, get it up in full screen in um, OBS so you can see it better. So anyway, um, this is AVG. Uh, this is the the full one. I got it on a um, a payment plan. My subscription runs out in 2022. So um, it is the full edition right here. We can go go to the menu, go to the about section. There's my software version right there. Um, it's got the build as well um, so that's there now when you get it when you set up an account download it and whatever you got a selection of tabs one is your computer tab so you can click and secure the threats and get rid of them you got file shield here behavior shield ransomware protection and network inspector so these is all active and they're all going all at once in the web and email tab you got web shield and email shield um, this is particularly good because if you go onto a website and it's a little bit virusy you'll get a notification from um, from AVG and it will block that website and it won't load it up for you so all you need to do is like click off that website because it it will help you get away from that site so um, hacker threats or hacker attacks uh, these are the core defense against hackers and ransomware so you got the advanced firewall here password protection and remote access shield blocks unrented remote connections so it's kind of like a vpn however i don't really i don't really use this for a vpn because i use nord nord vpn but you do get a, a um an enhanced firewall for your computer which is always good privacy is core defenses against snoops on the web or in your home webcam protection and sensitive data shield so it blocks hackers from viewing your webcam and um, your personal data so that is also good to have and as well as payments um, fake website shield um, helps you avoid fake sites basically it blocks out all, all the fake sites if you click on if you click on a link and it's a little bit doggy and it's like a payment site it'll basically block it out and it'll get get away from it for you um so these are the um the five tabs if you have basic protection i think you only get computer and web and email um full yeah it even says here basic protection and full protection so i've got everything here so full protection includes hacker attacks um protection and privacy protection and payment protection um, now if you go down here you can see I scanned it two days ago and it detected right now this is running all the time as long as the computer's on or your device is on it'll it'll just scan be in in the background detecting viruses when you surf on the web um, and it last detected um, three hours ago so you can click refresh here and it'll it'll click uh, it'll check for a virus um, def defections and ba basically say it's up to date so let me close out of there um, now smart scan here's here's a tab if you want to scan your computer I'm not going to do it because I've already scanned two days ago um, if you click on the three dots here there is different types of scanning you can go for deep scan which yeah it does take ages but it will scan the entirety of your computer even the hidden files you can go to file or folder scan which will only scan certain files and folders um, boot time scan 
USB or DVD scan this is particularly good if you're putting in software into your computer via USB or um, CD and you basically want to scan them and performance scan scan lightly performance of your system under my scans you got schedule scans so you can schedule a scan to go off uh, whenever you want it to or scan history this is basically your scan um, history here um, if you go on to scheduled scans um, this is um, you can go to create your own schedule here or you can like launch and scan different types of things so these are, if you click on this one here you can name your scan you can pop whatever you want it to be like a file folder scan quick or smart or deep scan and you can put it down to be once daily weekly or monthly and it will be here's the sensitivity of your scan here and this will be scanned for potentially unwanted programs follow links during scan test whole files you got priorities of your scan here you can scan certain areas like all hard disks or system drives and you can like scan you can click to scan all removable media root kits and all of this stuff It's basically you can really customize your scan right here so let's just go off of here uh, I'm actually gonna run a smart scan here and this is basically if you this is the main bit here and it'll scan it in quadrants so you got browser and threats which is the quickest one viruses and other malware you just click next which will be the main bulk um, advanced issues which is another quick one and it'll scan for performance issues which kind of takes a while but it's not too bad I'm gonna stop the scan here scan stop there's fine um, at the bottom it will but it'll just say it's cluttered because it wants you to download um, the um, tune up software which I uninstalled because I don't seem to use it as much I don't really see the point of it um, if you go up to notifications it'll basically have your alert of the um yeah i haven't um ignored any any issues on it uh because i didn't have that many issues so it's grayed it out now this is oh did it okay online content is unavailable that's weird i think i'm online at the minute so it's a bit weird it's unavailable uh, this is basically your um, settings and stuff. You can enter an activation code if you have one. Um, your settings, the subscriptions, extensions, statistics, support, help about, and all, all that good stuff. And this is likely products you have installed. Like I said, I only got AVG antivirus um, installed, um, and I used to have TuneUp, but I don't anymore, so I got rid of that. Secure VPN, that's an, another option. You've got the driver updater, anti track, and breach guard. Um, you can have all of them, but it'll cost a lot, lot of money, and that's mm, something that I don't have. If you go into settings here, it'll basically have all a lot of settings, including updates and stuff, um, as well as like blocked apps and passwords and and things personal privacy as the um, general and tools right here so that's quite good it actually has a lot of options with it as well so it's quite nice that it gives you a lot of options um, I used to be with with um, Norton antivirus but I deleted that like every time I I had like a computer or something with it on I just unin uninstalled it and downloaded AVG because AVG is amazing um, yeah it is pretty good I'm just gonna show you the um, deep scan at a minute oh there's a cog um, and you can basically customize it to scan what, what you need it to so here's a deep scan now this only scans the deepest parts of your computer as well as some like main bits here this does take a long time and if you wanted you can check this to shut your computer down when it finishes 
uh, this does take a very long time and I only do it about once a month and I do a um, let me just cancel that and I do a smart scan um, every Sunday um, so I got it like planned out like that so anyway I think I basically went through the entirety of my um, um, review with this it's a, it's a good good service really it's it's not bad at all I really like it I really enjoy using it it's, it's really nice um, I might review um, the, the um, if I get it which I probably won't I might review the um, AVG cleanup software but I guess I need to do this because I don't think I actually reviewed this before so um, yeah anyway that's been the review for AVG Internet Security 2020 edition. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time in another video.